Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I just came on to share with you this um, embroidery hoop that I have been working on. I started with the base with this cute little fabric, and I wish I would not have done that because you you cannot see <laughs> you cannot see that fabric anywhere. I've completely covered it, so it feels like a waste of a really adorable fabric. So. I think um, in the future I will just be using muslin or some white cotton or something. Not my cutest fabric because, you know, you can't see a bit of it. So I put the fabric in the hoop and then I added, first I added the edging trims. So I used this cute little, I love this lace and I'm hoping Kim will be carrying it because it's just, I love it so much. But this is one of Kim's laces and you will find the link to Angel Dream Crafts below on Etsy and I cut this little lace up so I actually cut this piece off of this I sewed this down on top of the pink and then I sewed this down um, in every little section so it has three little flowers on it and this little leaf I love it so I did that all the way around first and then I added the fabric image and I printed out my favorite little Tilda Friends image. So cute. And I put that down. And then I cut up this really large applique. Now Kim carries great appliques, but they do sell out quickly. So make sure you follow the link below to see what kind of applique she has in the store. I love them. They're all great. They're big and beautiful and you can cut them up and use them in so many ways. I absolutely love it. So this applique that I cut up was pretty large and it goes from here to here with this flower and then another piece of it is right here. So pretty. It didn't have the bling, but it was just a really beautiful, beautiful applique. So then I sewed on the bead trim from uh, Kim's shop in pink. She also has it in the pearl color. I love this stuff. I am like obsessed with it lately and I just sewed it all over the place. And I pleated up some lace and put one of those definition words uh, for my porch prints that I printed out onto fabric that I use all the time. I absolutely love them. And then I just sewed on all the other fun stuff. So I cut up this trim from Kim's shop that, I mean, it's just so fantastic to cut up. So I have a bunch of it cut up because I just sew it on everything. So that's there. And then of course, a bunch of different pearls, some buttons, some of them are vintage buttons. I love buttons so much. Um, I put this little crystal heart right here, adorable, one of my yo-yo flowers, some pink rosettes, a little heart charm, of course, and uh, one of Kim's rolled roses, absolutely adorable, and some more Sh Swarovski beads here and there. Then I added these two blings from my stash. Those I actually glued on. So everything's sewn except the, the three bling pieces. Here I used a double seam binding bow and uh, Kim is carrying hand signed, hand dyed seam binding <laughs> in her shop, which I love. So I added a double seam binding bow and then I had this little heart bling in my stash. It's so cute. So I put that there too. And of course, I stickled her little flower. It's just adorable. I had so much fun creating it, and I just love the way that it turned out. So please um, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear. And I have a link to Kim's shop below, as well as all the other designers' channels. And I just think their work is amazing. So if you're not a uh, sub to them, go check them out. They, um, they inspire me constantly with their uh, creativity. Just love it. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.